Hope you're all doing well, staying out of trouble, not doing anything I wouldn't do. Um, like, comment and subscribe, and uh, I'll see you when I see ya. Buongiorno, no, that's wrong, um, arrivederci. Is that gonna look any good or is that just gonna fall apart? That's just gonna fall apart. Oh well, if you ask me, that is a bloody, bloody gorgeous, give me a cut, Italian style BLT, except it's a P. Bacon lettuce tomato, so it's a pancetta basil tomato, PBT, PBT. You want this bread toasted, you want all of it golden brown. Oh crap, hang on. Take that off a sec. Rewind. I'm going to stick this in a griddle pan. What's the word? Um, why have I got this? I don't need this. Ciao. Ciao. Right, so, don't know about where you are, but if you were in the UK about a week ago, we had some beautiful bloody weather. You wouldn't believe it, There's the amount of rain that's currently pissing down outside. But, last week I was sat in the garden in t-shirt and shorts, and I was burning, and it was mid-March. Gorgeous. So that kind of like, jump-started uh, summer, spring-summer vibes for me. Um, and whenever summer comes around, the first thing I want to start eating is, I think, basil and tomatoes. Gorgeous summer sort of thing. But, I mean, basil's are available year-round. Well, everything's available year-round these days, but basil will grow like wildfire anywhere that it's hot, indoors, out. That's fine. Being a bit of a hypocrite, because tomatoes are not in season, but I'm going to say do some tomatoes, because we're going to do an Italian BLT. So I've got a nice rustic ciabatta. Got some pancetta rashers. Pancetta and bacon, they're not the same thing, but they're very closely re related. Can't get pancetta, use bacon. Um, I mean, it hasn't even got to be streaky bacon. Whatever your favorite bacon is, use that. Because essentially you're making you a sandwich here, so don't follow this all word for word, but we just mix it up a little bit. So that's our B, except it's not, it's a P. So we're actually making a P, B, T. Because we're gonna use basil instead of uh, lettuce. Lovely summery, basil-y flavours. Um, bit peppery, little bit, very aromatic. And we're gonna use some, some nice vine ripened tomatoes that need a wash. I'll give them a wash in a sec, no, no matter. Um, this time of year, you're never gonna get the greatest of tomatoes. And I know I'm being here for it, because I do say, try and eat in season. But we're all human, and sometimes we need a treat, especially when the weather was really nice, and now it's crap. Uh, we're also going to make a nice balsamic, peppery balsamic mayo to go with the whole thing. First things first, we're going to get our bacon on, or in this case, pancetta. What we're going to do, to make it a bit special as well. So, cook the bacon however you want to cook the bacon. I'm going to cook the bacon. If you start it in a cold pan, what happens is you end up rendering a lot more of the fat out. And you cook it quite a while, a lot slower than you would traditionally cook bacon. And we're gonna get it nice and rendered and nice and crispy. I can't be bothered to do this on the hob. You can also start it in a cold oven. It's another what, good way of doing it. Or, like I said, cook the bacon however you want. According to the Queen's chef or some guy that cooks breakfast for the Queen, uh, you're supposed to should really cook bacon in a screaming hot pan, like, uh, like you would a bit of steak. Get it in a super hot pan and cook it as quickly as possible. I've never actually tried that. I should maybe try it out one day, see if it is actually any good. But um, I'm going to do it this way. Normally, if I was just cooking bacon for a breakfast, normal pan, medium, medium, high heat, fry it the normal way. But because this is streaky bacon, well, streaky pancetta, we're going to try and render out as much of that fat as possible and get it really nice and crispy. Especially because in a BLT, normally you're going to use quite extra thick bacon. We're using this, which is quite thin. So it's a cold pan, I'm going to whack it on medium heat. Just let it come up to temperature, I'm just going to slowly render all that fat out. All right, while we're getting on with that, I'm going to toast off a slice of chia batter in half. Should have picked a bigger knife. Hey ho. I'm going to stick this in a griddle pan, because I like the nice pretty char marks. 
but that is it. It is just purely aesthetics. You don't want bacon and steaks and stuff with them lines on it. You want the bit that is the line is where all the flavour is. So you want that all over. But I'm making a sandwich that I want to look pretty. Uh, we're going to give it a little spritz of olive oil just to help along the toasting process. This is not a particularly healthy sandwich. Although it's not super unhealthy. But I have also noticed I'm doing a lot of sandwiches lately. Um, they're easy. And people eat a lot of sandwiches as well, to be fair. But this isn't going to become the sandwich channel, don't worry. So, drizzle of olive oil. Anything that comes off, feel free to eat. And we're just going to whack that in a pan, a little bit of an angle, just so we can get a core pattern to develop. Or well, maybe not, because I don't think I can fit them both in. Let's just put them in a bit like that then. Yeah, we can skew them a bit. Give a bit of a press, make sure they're in contact with the pan. Keep an eye on them, because we don't want them to burn. Next on the list, we'll make our mayo, just while we're waiting. And keep an eye on our ciabatta though. Don't want anything burning. Uh, real simple, if you want to make your own mayo, like I've said multiple times, you do you. Um, if I'm having mayonnaise, I like to make my own mayonnaise. If I'm making a mayonnaise based sauce, I'll use the stock store bought stuff. I'm only making the one, so I'm not making too much of this. But I want about a tea tablespoon of mayo to a teaspoon of balsamic vinegar and a hefty crack of pepper, quite fine, quite fine. You don't want chunks of pepper and. Um, Little pinch of salt at the moment, but not too much. I'm just gonna stir to combine. The bacon starts to go, start going a bit high. If I turn it down, we don't want to cook it super quick. I'm gonna slow and slow it. Starting to get some char on the chip out, so just keep an eye on that. Give that a little taste. Banging. As our dressing done, I'm gonna pick a couple of tomatoes. Give them a little rinsey poo. Right, so, tomatoes. Um, I would prefer to use like a Roma or a San Mazzano, something nice and big. But like I said, at this time of year, none of that's in season. To be fair, these aren't in season either. But, and then just slice them kind of thin. You want to know they're there, but, if you slice them in half, you end up with a bit too much of a bite there, if you ask me. Cherry tomatoes will work as well. I mean, these are very similar to cherry tomatoes. I mean, that's probably enough tea. Spread them out on the board a little bit, and we're just going to give them this light sprinkling of salt. Don't want to go nuts, because obviously there's going to be a load of salt from the uh, bacon pancetta, whatever meat you are using. Uh, Share back's probably got a nice little, yeah, nice bit of crispness on it now. Right, last one is basil. So, this is a bunch of basil. So I'm gonna, we only really want the leaves. So I'm gonna pick down a load of leaves. That bit of stem's all right. Um, you don't want this bit of stem. It's edible. Uh, it's going to be a little bit fibrous for in a sandwich and also very strong flavour wise. Uh, I'm going to be brave, use loads of basil. This is really what this flavor, sandwich is all about. And don't forget that pancetta has got a strong flavour to it. It's going to be easily, it will easily take the uh, centrepiece if, take the centrepiece? Take, what's the word? With, you will quite easily only taste pancetta in this sandwich and you haven't got to worry about overshadowing it with a load of basil because it's a strong flavour. And pick all those leaves. Be brave if you don't like it. You know, for next time, put a bit less basil in it. Right, so we are just literally waiting on our uh, pancetta bacon. But give it... It's, Give it some time, let it get nice and crispy. Move it around the pan if you find some that are cooking a bit quicker than others. Right, I'm gonna call that. So I'm gonna chuck these on the kitchen towel just to blot up some of that fat, because otherwise it's gonna be a very fatty sandwich, which we don't want. 
There's our bottom, not that it really matters. There's the bottom. So we're gonna go on with a smear of our mayo. End to end, don't be stingy. And then I like to have a bit of our basil. Mayo gives it something to stick to. Get as much in there as sensible. Of course that's all falling out all over the place all the time. Yeah, then I'm gonna go in with the bacon on top. Well, pancetta in this case. And heat from that will walk that basil a little bit. That's all right. All part of the process. I'm just in there with those tomatoes. And bosh. Um, give it a little drizzle of olive oil if you want. I don't think it needs it. Um, great the parmesan. It's not too bad either. Uh, a bit more of that mayo on top if you really if you want more mayo. If you ask me, that is a bloody, bloody gorgeous give me a cut. Italian style BLT, except it's a P bacon lettuce tomato, so it's a pancetta basil tomato, PBT. PBT. And there you go. There's only four, five, not including the stuff that went into the mayo. There's the bread, the bacon, the lettuce, and tomato. You get good tomatoes, this time of year you're going to be struggling. Basil, you can get decent basil all year round. Get yourself a nice bit of chia batter or focaccia or whatever bread you want. I think I've done a BLT before. Um, each individual thing, because there's so few ingredients, you really want to get good good pancetta or good bacon. If you can get down, if you've got a butcher's or a deli that does like really thick cut homemade bacon, go down and get that. Yeah. All right, I'm going to go munch this. Give it a go. It's really nice and summery. If you don't like basil, don't make it. Just make a normal BLT. But try it, mix it up a little bit. You haven't just always got to go for the same bacon, same lettuce and the same tomato. Try different lettuces or other herbs. Hope you're all doing well. Staying out of trouble. Not doing anything I wouldn't do. Um, like, comment and subscribe. And uh, I'll see you when I see ya. Buongiorno. No, that's wrong. Um, arrivederci.